Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And guys, one, two, three, four, keep counting them. Black Chicago residents came to the town hall meeting or city hall meeting, and they went off on the current mayor and the current city council, and they warned them, Trump's coming for you. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Guys, you know, Trump captured so much of the black vote this time around that it shocked people. He captured votes in cities like Chicago that started moving towards Trump. San Francisco, Philadelphia, cities, New York City. Places you would not expect. Did, did he win those cities? No, but voters started moving to him in bigger blocks. His popularity is sky high right now. It's at an all-time high because people are tired of these cities, these towns, these states taken up for migrants over American citizens. They're exhausted with it. They've had it. And this, this video doesn't need much introduction. This is just a beautiful video of these these citizens tearing down this mayor and this city council, Americans standing for their rights, standing for what they deserve as citizens born in this country, and that they're not getting. They're not getting from their mayor and their city council. I loved watching this. I think you will too. So I'd like you to watch it and then let me know what you think in the comments. Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon. I wanna know, how does it feel that Trump is in office right now? <laughs> You see the, okay. you see the uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson, you underestimate us. You underestimate the black people and you underestimate Chicago Red. We're the thorn in your side and we're gonna be the thorn on everybody else in this council member side too. Right. If you don't stop what you're doing, we're gonna take matters in our own hand and we're gonna stop it. Yeah. You know that Trump had pulled 45% of the voter in the state of Illinois, 37 in the city of Chicago. That's the statistic. That means that Illinois is turning purple. We're going to turn red. Y'all can bird dog me all y'all want, but if y'all, if it's relationship over duty, then y'all don't serve the blue. And you can smirk all you want. Mr. Sims, direct your attention towards me, please. You're a criminal. Why do I got to address you? The feds need to address you. DOJ need to address you. And, pro and hopefully Donald Trump will address you. Because you're going to protect the undocumented. Why are you going to allow for the citizens in the Chicago to suffer under your, what, 33%? You're going to see Joe Lopez cook that 3% up a long time ago. Y'all call it a circuit breaker. Y'all been talked about it. Remember, before you came in here and gave that jovial speech, you need to be inspected. You ain't that creep over there. Acting like, you know, you're just going to bully everybody. You got people... What, officers who families don't even want you to come to the funeral? You just like a schoolyard bully. That at some point, and you might not know nothing about it because you grew up in Elgin, but those of us who grew up on the south side and west side of Chicago, we all know that at some point that bully gets cornered in the alley and everybody come at him. And he ain't gonna have nobody to help him. That's you. That's you. Keep thinking you ain't gonna <laughs> you ain't gonna abide by what the president of the United States said. Everybody know better than that. I see you, Anna Valencia, in your red. You know what it is. This is the second time you showed up in city council in red. You know what it is? Yeah. Yeah. So you and the rest of them that know what time it is, y'all come on. You leave that loser where he is. He's a loser. He's a loser. No, me and Zoe, we ain't doing nothing for nobody except for ourselves. We got you, loser. 14% rating is what you appear to have, Brandon Johnson, across the United States or how they see you. But 14% rating. Now, I'm going to talk about 
all your, those known donations of $11.5 million that came from places like the CTU, the SEIU, the American Federation of Teachers, Illinois Federal uh, Federation of Teachers, and then someone got the nerve to get on there and talk about cutting uh, the pensions. What about our real estate? Because, see, we paid for these properties for a purpose and not for you to go touching it with $300 million that you want to siphon out of the citizens' pockets. Get rid of the illegals, and that'll take your money right back. Start it off with that. In the letter calling for the special meeting, the only item up today for consideration is item number 02024-00136. Seven nine, an ordinance authorizing the fiscal year 2025 property tax levy. There are zero nays, 50 nays. This matter has been voted down. Alderman Mitchell on a motion to adjourn. Yes.